So I spent the first two months of the way working on this video on my challenge account and when I was finally done editing it, I wanted to hop on my main to try and catch up a bit. I knew I'd have my work cut out for me, but I never had a start anywhere near what was about to unfold today. I figured everyone would be way ahead of me, but I took our starting RPK along with some basic armor over to customs to see what I could get done. After plenty of looting and surprisingly no opposition, I just kind of walked out of there with this little pile of loot. Most notably, our first of three founded raid Saluas for the early therapist task and three founded raid morphines, which we'd need a little later. So then I decided to take the kit right into factory where I knew I'd actually get to fire my weapon, and I sure was right, as there were gunshots all around, one of which sounded like Tagila, the boss of factory. After having a bit of back and forth audio cues with at least two other players and what I presume to be Tagila, we find ourselves at the true beginning of today's adventure. Alright, come in. I hear multiple ones a player. I can't grab much else, I don't have time. Oh, is that Tequila? Yeah. That was an awesome second raid for us, and while Tagila is a tough guy, his mask couldn't protect him from this PMC. But he could have protected his location by simply activating his Surfshark VPN, the sponsor of today's video, to virtually change his location. With the ability to swap your IP to practically anywhere in the world, you can use Surfshark to unlock TV shows and movies on multiple streaming services that are otherwise unavailable in your region, and even the apps themselves if you live somewhere where something like Hulu isn't available. If your ISP is throttling your internet speed while gaming, 
game, swap your location to bypass their bandwidth limit and get the speed you're actually paying them for. You can even gain early access to big game releases faster by using Surfshark to change to a server in a time zone that's getting the preload or release of the game first. Not only that, but Surfshark's clean web feature blocks ads, trackers, malware, and phishing attempts to keep your general browsing safer. Do you really want people having access to your location, full name, browsing activity, the contents of your stash? Of course not. So use code SwampFoxTV to get an extra three months of Surfshark free by clicking the link in the description or pinned comment below. There's even a 30 day money back guarantee if you aren't completely satisfied. Thank you Surfshark VPN for sponsoring today's adventure. And speaking of adventure, that little factory raid made us a good bit of rubles, not to mention an extra RPK for later. For now though, I wanted to get a scav raid in with some viewers from my live stream just for fun and to see if we could come up with any more quest items. I'm gonna climb the mountain, then I'll catch up with you. Good. I'm just gonna check that hill. Okay, well, we want that site. Okay, that is crap. Alright, first of all, here's a loot lesson for you. I can't get this because my head won't turn. But you can free look. Boink. Boink. And that's how it's done. Sorry, boy, I figured, but better to aim in and look at him, make sure it is the same guy after all. <laughs> oh my god. Was that. Just about mine? What the fuck? Right here. Are you okay? Help. I'm good. Oh no! Oh yeah, there's mines over there, friend. Go, if you're better off going back the way you came and coming up the hill. Yeah, yeah, come up over here, over here. Yeah, I don't know, I know, I know. I okay. Thinking. Do you need any meds? I got a little bit of stuff. Uh, oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> that scared the shit out of me, man. I thought one of you guys played one of those really loud jump scares, you know? <gasps> I need it. Fuck you, Ultima thing. Booyah. After this awesome little loot fest, we'd already made some nice money and found two out of three Salua's in just three total raids. A great start so far. With my PMC already equipped for another factory run, I went right back in, once again tracking movement of what I thought was another player, and once again running into someone else. Okay. I can't move. I'm trying to move. What the fuck? Not quite what I expected for my first death of the wipe, but thankfully we had another RPK from the factory raid earlier. So I decided to change things up and head over to Woods to try and grab the letter needed for mechanic quest to unlock Jaeger as a traitor. I don't even know where I am. I think I do. Oh, is that the Yusek camp? Oh shit. I don't know if I want to be up here. Let's try and cross quickly. Can we go northern UN? Yes. That would be huge if I got there. I want to go through the mountain to the plane, grab the ladder and try to go northern, northern you in. Just grab it and get out. Try to stay in concealment as much as I can. This will check real quick. What the fuck is that? I don't know what that is.
surgery and then we can come back. I'll put the good stuff in. I need that light bulb, like early. I think so. Definitely need the bolt. Oh, nice. Okay. So now let's make our way over to the plane and then to Northern UN. Stash here. What the fuck is that? Oh. Wow. Alright, um. Oh, it has an RK3 on it. I was gonna ditch this. I guess I could use it and ditch mine. I had me dead to rights, he didn't see me. I thought I heard something. I like, do you guys see me do a double take before I looted that box? But I didn't see anything, so I was like, whatever. Oh my god, he has a fucking floor. What? This SR25 with the thermal sight on it was worth more than my entire loadout alone and there was plenty more loot here too. With all the noise we just made and this being only my fifth raid, I knew I had to quickly grab what I could and get out of here.
This raid was huge for us in terms of loot as we were able to keep many items we'd soon need for the hideout, not to mention lots of sellable. After liquidating some of my ill-gotten gains and upgrading my loadout with better ammo and armor, we were left with just over 850,000 rubles in our stash, which I hope to put toward buying a Lucky Scav jump box, an expensive but necessary case to contain all our random barter items. All that excitement kept me from going for the letter to unlock Jaeger as a trader though, so I set up my newly upgraded loadout, including a fresh gym sock from Ragman to cover my face for the dark and rainy weather, and set things aside for the time being to run a quick interchange scav raid, hoping to find more early quest and hideout upgrade items before we'd ultimately head back into woods on our PMC to try again. What the fuck? That was one of the that was one of the guys in my group. What happened to him? Is that a Salua? Might be a gas man. Well, that'd be huge if I survive. Can't there be stuff at the registers? Hello. Hey, I really did see you spawn right next to us. It was so weird. And then you disappeared. Where do you guys think that shooting is? I, I think it's in the basement. Yeah, I was thinking that too. It's in the parking garage. You want to go down and get him? I think we know where he is. Behind us. Hey, man. Uh oh. You're gonna you're gonna uh, end up like the uh, Kennedys. I'm warning you. Got him. Yeah, okay, you're okay. Fucking bitch. It was a scab, by the way. Yeah, I know. Wow, Ash. Feels bad, man. <laughs> oh, good. We get to hear that louder now. Oh, yeah. I need the Taz. Fuck. One moment. I need the Taz. Kind of annoying if you move the stashes in a way. <laughs> I can't find the fucking thing. Oh wow. I'm pretty thick, brother. I'm gonna head out. I got multiple quest items. Despite the loss of our two scav buddies to that trader scav we ran into, this raid was a massive success for me as we got both MP133s needed for Prapper's debut task, the Taz shotgun we'd soon need for skier, and our third and final Salua medkit for therapist. Not only that, but selling off our remaining extra items got me just enough to afford that lucky scav junk box for just over a million rubles. Low on funds now, but with a few decent loadouts ready to go, I set my sights back on woods to make another attempt to find that letter for Jaeger. I spawned into an already underway raid. Two minutes late. 
I already hear a sniper. That sucks. There's no way for me to know where anybody is. Whereas, like, when you start, you kind of know where everyone's moving to and where they spawn, roughly. If you're familiar with the spawns, that is. Is it way? 1.7. There's a loot rig for us, I guess. doesn't really do anything to have it in my butt because it has to be found in raid, but at least we found a flashback. It's worth more than a painkiller. Is that the Mose in there? That was not the Mosin I heard. Eventually, I'm just gonna YOLO across the beach, I think, and go for the letter. And we can take any of the x over there. We can go northern again. YOLOing across the beach when you've heard multiple sniper rifles is unpleasant. At least we, we know we took out one of them. Maybe we should just go. It's just so risky. something but I don't know. There's like very often treasure there. Check the oh, that scared me. That's close. I like to check the debris field for a uh, random loot. There's a note there. Just keep going.
Well, that was a pretty quick one, and we not only got our letter to unlock Jaeger, but also the first of two Fountain Raid flash drives we'd soon need for Skier. After this, I ran another scav raid on Woods with another group of viewers for my live stream, unaware at the time that this would become one of the most interesting raids of the day. Mayo and a tourniquet, what every growing boy needs. Uh, I don't think I can buy PS, actually. <laughs> I'll take it. Love some old mayo that you found in a swamp, in a swamp town. I couldn't tell that noise was my own breathing at first. Ah, I see you glowing trinket. We got loot, but we don't have much to fight with. But like anything, if you shoot him in the face, it's enough. All right, here you gotta be real, you gotta look real carefully. So you wanna look below it. And uh, look for that white dot to show up in the middle of your screen. I think that's it. Because that's your perception skill telling you there's an item close by. Hello. Hey. Sometimes there's loot in the boat. Get him. There's Peyton Manning over there coming out of retirement. I wish I had smoke on the water ready to go on my stream deck. He looked like he wanted to drop something. Thanks, man. Do you need any more Tashankas? No? Does anyone need these for the general wares? No. Alright. So, let's go up the hill. We'll loot all the, all the camps up there and go to Yusek camp and all that. Time for some Baldur's Gate. Is that good? The first two were really good. Can't believe how many years it's been. It's only been 15 years since Baldur's Gate 2. I, I thought it was like way longer for some reason. Is this shredded or what? No. Yeah, got easy. Got a sweet hat. Oh, another crouton. I'm glad I checked. <laughs> you guys are feeding me stuff. Here, take a payment. It's worth it to me for quest items. Thanks, man. Scavs can't, you gotta trade. You can't just take shit for free. It's not the scav way. You know what I mean? That's a, that trades for a Salua. That's why I want those. Oh, that's pretty good actually. <laughs> Don't be a dick. <laughs> oh, we need that screw nut. I need one more. I forgot why. We got, oh, I don't know. We probably need like 10 more. We're gonna build a bunch of stuff. So there can be a treasure spawn there. And there. And under there. I think he's looking. Hello? It's payment for the AK. Thank you. Oh, it's got PS. Right, right, right. A lot of people don't loot everything, and you never know. Some people miss stuff too. Oh, he found that stuff. <laughs> he dropped Tosmex. What the fuck? One's dead. I think he killed.
was another arm I'd be screwed. I thought I killed him the first time, that's the same guy. Okay. I gotta get moving because we gotta go to outskirts. the gas and right, whatever I gotta go yeah I know this is like my character's like level five I don't have the to American the second guy I think he might have thought I was injured because I ran back behind the tent he might have thought, he, he was definitely pushing me with his cutter. He had this gun in my hands and, the, and a cutter, but he pulled the cutter out to push me. It was probably like his secondary. Yeah, I was gonna ask who, yeah, it was Troller. You gave me that AK, that was all you did. You, you got the assist all day for the LU, man. <laughs> that was good. And it's a good thing I stopped and packed it with PS at the, at the previous camp. Because if it wasn't full, I couldn't have won that fight. The first one, I fucked him up so bad, I actually thought he was dead. And then I heard him panting, so I, I pushed him, he was prone. And then the second one, he just he pushed me, which was like the ideal situation for having 10 PS rounds left in your AK. It's like, yes, please push me, bro. <laughs> if I had to push him, that fight would have been so hard. This was a pretty major come up for a level five and after all was said and done left us with just over 300,000 rubles with several early quests completed and a scav junk box already in our inventory. I felt like this was a pretty good place to call it a wrap for day one on this account, but not before going back to factory one last time for fun. Don't forget to check out Surfshark by clicking the link in the description or pinned comment below, and if you're looking for something else to watch, check out this video.